So hello, my name is uh, Gabriel Marseille. I'm a senior C++ developer at one and one company. Okay, mail in the uh, department. Uh, where I'm uh, integrating Collabora Online into online office, uh, our online office uh, applications. And uh, today I will uh, talk a little bit about exactly this integration. Uh, so we, off we are offering, we, ha we have uh, two services, one is uh, Viewer and uh, one is Editor. Both are based on Collabora Online. The Viewer uses the Convert to REST API to convert uh, documents to PDF and then the PDF is displayed. And the editor, of course, provides the full set of editing capabilities of Collabora Online. Um, these services are used by the cloud. Okay, so the users can, uh, can view and edit uh, documents. Uh, and also, uh, uh, they are used by uh, the email uh, for viewing and editing email attachments. And um, currently, uh, this year, I think a few weeks ago, we uh, released a new interesting feature, which is called Hybrid Mail which means that a user can uh, send uh, a physical le letter to a physical address directly from our, our online office application. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> the role of uh, uh, Collabora Online is to convert the document uh, from its original uh, format to PDF. And then that uh, uh, the user introduces the destination address, that destination address is uh, included into the PDF as the first page, and then the PDF is sent to Deutsche Post, which prints it and sends it to the destination address. Okay. Uh, this is a, a, a screenshot of the online office editor. So the, the, that blue um, uh, line in to, at the top of the, of the page is... Uh, from there, you can choose the, uh, the applications. You have email, you have uh, cloud, you have uh, calendar, and of course, on online office. On the left side is the menu of, uh, of the online office. Um, you can uh, uh, create new documents, empty documents. You can uh, open recently used. Uh, you can create uh, documents based on templates. You can uh, open uh, documents from cloud and upload from local storage. Uh, once uh, the a file is uploaded, from local storage, it is open directly, immediately in uh, in online office editor. And of course, on the right side, you have the integrated Collabora Online. Uh, uh, let's discuss a little bit about the place of Collabora Online in into our online office uh, architecture. So we have a client side and a server side. On client side, we have a landing page, which um, loads uh, cool.html into uh, iframe. Uh, and on server side, we have multiple uh, components. Uh, one of them is uh, middleware, which is a kind of proxy, and uh, it's not just a proxy, it does multiple things, but beside the uh, uh, forwarding messages from one uh, uh, side to another, uh, it also acts like uh, balancing, so um, uh, any new connection that arrives, uh, the middleware decides to which uh, instance of cool uh, to redirect it. Okay, there are, of course, multiple instances of cool, and uh, uh, we also have a component which is called storage adapter. This was needed because uh, our cloud uh, uh, does not understand the uh, WAPI uh, protocol, so we have to adapt from WAPI protocol to our internal uh, protocol that is under, uh, understood by, by cloud. Uh, and uh, these three components form the uh, online office editor. We have, we, we have uh, some other small components, but they are not so important. And what I want to mention here is that all these three components are deployed and uh, managed uh, through Kubernetes. Okay, so uh, how we deploy? Uh, we build a Docker image. Uh, uh, we have a, uh, we package the Helm charts. This is something that is done uh, rarely. Uh, this is uh, these are settings that are used by Kubernetes uh, uh, to configure the system on which the, the Docker image is deployed, like uh, CPU, memory, um, uh, resources, and so on. Uh, our deploy, uh, in our deployment, we have more than 50 ports for editor and 50 ports for viewer. Uh, uh, for, for some time, we had 100, but we decided to scale them to half, and it seems that uh, there was no negative impact, so we keep them at 50. Uh, we have one uh, cool instance uh, for each pod. Uh, for CPU, we use two cores per pod. And uh, for memory, we, we, we have a, lim uh, a limit of six gigabytes. Uh, 
Okay. What else? Oh yes. So this year uh, we upgraded from 6.4 to 21 version from 6.4 to 21.11, and uh, the improvement was uh, huge. I mean we. We liked very much uh, the new the new version, uh, not only from user perspective, but also from uh, I'm I'm a developer, I'm a hardcore developer, so <laughs> I appreciate much more uh, what happens in the background. Uh, so uh, here we have some comparison, some statistics. I know that Michael likes statistics, so yeah. So uh, 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 in order to to evaluate the stability of the application, uh, we uh, we are looking on some metrics. And one of those metrics is the number of terminated lost pr processes. Uh, uh, for, for some time we had uh, uh, important issues with uh, key processes that were not, not, not referenced anymore by the, by the cool WSD. And that was a problem because it, in almost of all of these cases, those processes uh, were hanged in the background and uh, consumed resources. So implemented something that uh, uh, cleans up this uh, uh, this, uh, these uh, processes, and uh, this is one of the um, uh, measurement for stability. So uh, in 6.4 we had uh, somewhere between 10 and 20 detected uh, lost kit pro processes in 24 hours. In 21.11, about two. Well, it's a it's a big improvement. In viewer we had, we had uh, between 100 and 200 in 24 hours. Now we have <laughs> zero, almost zero. We we. <laughs> We experienced only one single loss process in uh, in two months, which is uh, uh, which is <laughs> it's a big improvement. It's a huge improvement. Okay. Um, also, we uh, we also clean up uh, the uh, resource consuming kit processes. These are processes that are not lost. They are handled by cool WSD, but but they consume many many resources. Um, uh, so we. In the 6.4, we had somewhere between 50 and 100 per 24 hours. In 21, we have only two, approximately two. And in viewer, this uh, this is not available because of the way it was implemented. It takes into account the idle state of the document, which in viewer doesn't make sense. Okay, and uh, of course, not everything is uh, <laughs> perfect. Okay, and uh, yeah, so uh, another um, uh, metrics that we are looking uh, into are crashes. Uh, so this is uh, this is something that uh, uh, needs uh, needs uh, some uh, some work, some uh, some handling. So we have um, uh, kit crashes, crashes, crashes. Uh, uh, on editor we have between uh, 20 and 50 crashes in 24 hours. The numbers are the same. Uh, okay, let's say that uh, they are slightly higher in 21, but approximately the same. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, in viewer, we have uh, somewhere between 50 and uh, 100 uh, in 50 per 24 hours. And uh, the, the cool, cool WSD crashes, these are more important. Why? Because uh, in Kubernetes, um, if cool WSD crashes, uh, the Kubernetes uh, will restart the pod. Why? Because uh, cool WSD is the, the process that um, handles the liveness requests from uh, Kubernetes. So there, if there is no cool WSD, there is no liveness, and uh, the Kubernetes decides to restart the pod, uh, and which is something not nice. Uh, so we have between two and ten uh, cool WSD uh, crashes in 24 hours in uh, the editor. Uh, in the in the viewer, uh, there are zero or one somewhere between zero and one. This means one crash in uh, a few days. It's more it's more close to zero than to one. Okay, so um, overall, overall, uh, we were very pleased to upgrade to 21. It was a very big improvement, even with these uh, uh, these uh, drawbacks. But this is something that we inherited from the previous versions, from the pre previous version. So it's uh, it's it's not a, a, how to say a, a drawback, but uh, yeah. But still, uh, still, this is something that we need to work on. Okay, uh, and I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you for Collabora community, for the Office community, for bringing this uh, amazing application. Yeah. <laughs>